slender fingers ran down his cheeks into his dark hair, and the man's thin lips descended from his forehead. Amelia trembled, really scared to move, mm, what did she want to do? As he slowly approached, the breaths of the two people became intertwined. As he got closer, Amelia pierced his acupuncture points quickly and neatly with thin silver needles. Henry closed his eyes and fell to his side. Just now, the idiot knew that he wanted to kiss her. Amelia. No matter what his seductions and goals were, he was simply carrying out the peace treaty, and now he still had a lot to do and couldn't be charmed by it. Amelia wanted to get up, but a strong arm grabbed her and held her shoulder. Amelia pushed him, but Henry didn't move an inch. He was sleeping, but he was not allowed to leave her. Basically, I was not allowed to enter, look now. I just want to get out, I can't. Amelia wanted to get rid of him, but her finger was too strong, and she was afraid he would wake her up, so she could only lie down. The sofa in the study is not very big, and two people sleep together so it's a bit claustrophobic. Amelia could only lie down and so as not to take up much space. After lying down for a while, his cell phone rang. Amelia quickly looked at her phone. Actually he didn't want to answer it, but it was a call from his father. Amelia lay on her side in Henry's arms and pressed the button to take the call. He said in a low voice, Hi, Daddy what's wrong, dot. Zidney's reprimand came quickly, Amelia, what happened today? Initially, Mr. Wyra promised to inject money for grandfather's medical treatment, but I heard that you offended Mr. Wyra. Mr. Wyra already talked to me, but you have to go and apologize to Mr. Wyra yourself, otherwise everything will be in vain. Father, didn't Yulia's mother already tell you what happened today? If I say that the hero lord will only give funds after screwing your daughter, does dad still do it? Amelia asked to confirm. Yulia heard Amelia say this, she quickly said, yes, today I will send Amelia to Wyra's bed, because grandpa's medical treatment is currently short of funds and urgently needs a capital injection. Amelia is the daughter of the Wigianto family, so she should have done something. Amelia sneered, Auntie, you have two daughters. Besides Yasmin, you also have the eldest daughter Rina. They are also the daughters of the Wijaya family. Why don't you let them contribute? Speaking of Rina, Yulia became arrogant and haughty. The Wijaya family is an educated family and a medical family. Rina had a medical talent since she was a child, and she was most respected and loved by Zidney. Rina inherited my soft and sweet beauty. She is praised as the first lady in Yagyakarta, a beautiful and talented woman. Everyone who saw Yulia would praise her for having such a wonderful daughter. This is also the biggest reason why Yulia has been in the Wijaya family for so many years. When I was young, Amelia and Rina were the best couple. Amelia was very smart back then. No matter what aspect, Amelia is extraordinary. However, Amelia was sent to the countryside for almost 10 years. He was abandoned, so what's the point of arguing about Wigianto's daughter? Zidney, look what Amelia said, how can she humiliate our girl like this? Sure enough, Zidney was also very upset, he said earnestly, Amelia, I don't want to know, you have to meet Mr. Wyra at the Eye of the Heart Bar tomorrow night. Amelia was sent to the countryside when she was nine years old. He shouldn't be treated like this. That's right, none of Zidney's words sound like his position as his father. Zidney is still the Zidney he knows, is obsessed with drugs, loves pride and wealth, and he wants to develop Wijaya's medical care. Now the daughter he was most proud of was Rina. His other daughters, especially those who came back from the village, he only used as a tool to earn money. Okay dad, I will go tomorrow. I will meet him. 
His submissive and slave-like demeanor made Zidney's tones slightly softer, Amelia, you will be very happy. Your sick husband will die soon. When the problem of Mr. Wyra is resolved, I will find a man for you from a good and rich family. Then thank you dad. Amelia hung up. After turning off the phone, Amelia closed her eyes in Henry's arms. He is very sad because he is an orphan. He wants to be loved by his parents like any normal child who has a simple and peaceful life, but it's just a dream for him. He has no home. Amelia felt like a wild child who never had the love of a father or mother. Maybe because of the cold, Amelia curled up in Henry's arms. His arms. Henry is strong and warm, can protect any woman from wind and storm though. His head rested on his chest, bang, 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 and his strong heartbeat made him feel safe. Amelia thought she would suffer from insomnia, but in this man's arms she slept until dawn and slept soundly through the night. Henry slowly opened his eyes. It turned out that yesterday had passed, and the bright morning sun shrouded the layers of the window blinds, and it splashed a beautiful yellow color in the room. Henry's eyes were still in disbelief when he woke up the first time, and he felt like a moment was missing. For years, I didn't sleep until morning, and when I opened my eyes I saw a beautiful morning light, which I had never seen when I woke up in the morning. Henry closed his eyes again and hugged the girl in his arms. He knew that she had slept in his arms all night, for he could still feel her scent lingering in his arms. However, when he sleeps and finally wakes up Henry looks again in his arms, it turns out that Amelia has gone. Henry felt really sleepy he lifted the blanket to his feet. At this time, the door to his room was pushed open, and the butler Mr. Parman came in with a happy smile, Master, are you awake? I won't bother you. Mrs. Amelia had warned us before leaving and let you sleep for a while. How many years sir? You wake up automatically after falling asleep. Even Mr. Nindra can't do it. But Mrs. Amelia can do it. What kind of magic power does this young lady possess? Mr. Parman thought it was extraordinary. He knew the physical condition of his young master best. He was very worried after the young lady came in last night, but his young master actually slept with him all night. Henry looked out the door, where is he now? Madam said she would go out to handle some things and come back tonight. Did he say where he wanted to go? No young master. Okay, I understand with an expression of Henry who understands it very well. Henry went back to the bedroom and took a shower. When he took off his white shirt, he saw the small tooth marks on his shoulders in the mirror. Just looking at these tiny teeth marks, Henry could imagine how hard he had bitten them back then, until he had left these marks on his body. Thank you all. Have a nice day. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe so that the admin is more enthusiastic to provide entertainment for all of you. See you in the next video.